And that is why, lads, you never mess with things that are not yours, as they can result in very negative consequences. Yikes! I can't imagine how hard it would be to have a hook for a hand. You can't grab anything with it, and if you're not careful, you can jab your own eye out! Don't worry, Chica. It's only a scary tale. I was built with a hook replaced in my right hand. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. That was still quite a creepy tale, Foxy. Why, thank you, lass. Now, let's see who wants to go next. Hmm. Say, where did Toy Barney go? He said he heard somebody at the door and wanted to go check it out. Hey guys, look what I got! What is it? This cool looking book I found on our doorstep! That is the most unusual book I have ever seen. Does it say who it's from? Not from what I'm seeing, but this looks like a perfect book for scary tales. I wonder what kind of stories are in it. Um, I don't think we should be messing with that toy, Bonnie. What if it's a diary of some sort? That would be an invasion of someone's privacy. Freddy, if this was a diary, then would the lock on the cover be secured? Hmm, you do have a point, but I'm still skeptical about this. Come on, Freddy. It's only a book. What's the worst that can happen? <sighs> Alright, Toy Bonnie, you can read the story, but after you finish reading it, I'd like you to repackage the book and put it back at the front entrance so we know we aren't taking something that isn't ours. Alright, now, now go take your seat and I'll start the story. Oh, this looks like a good one. Remnant and Shadows. With the only things left to comfort him were the shadows of his own agony. Whoa. Whoever wrote this book is seriously a genius. Even I got chills from it. R really? No, of course not. Aspects like Remnant sound eerie, but it was just written in a way that was transparent and made no sense at all. And what was with that Shadow Man? The story didn't really explain who he was. I guess some things are be best left unexplained. <sighs> well, that story was so boring it made me tired. I'm gonna head to bed. I'm right behind you, Captain. You know, I still don't understand why you were so skeptical about this book, Freddy. It wasn't even scary. Well, because it's not every day someone just leaves a creepy looking book on your doorstep, especially on a night like this. <laughs> you take this kind of stuff too seriously, dude. What do you think was gonna happen? Floating book! What? Chica, the get-together is coming to a close. You can tell your scary tale another time. No! Floating book right behind you guys! What the what? <gasps> oh, nice try, Toy Bonnie. What are you talking about? This is not me doing it. How could it be me when I'm right here? Okay, but let's get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> what are you trying to do? Trying to see who's pulling our leg. <clears throat> Come on, you stupid book. <clears throat> Come on, it's too late in the night for this. Show yourself. We all want to go to bed. <laughs> or pumpkins. Forty. Are you okay? Uh, I think so, but I think we're actually experiencing some paranormal activity. If if that book was the one who threw me like I was a toy. Silence, you mortals. And you might be right if it's speaking to us. I'm the one speaking to you, fools. Who do you take me as? We have no clue. This just happened out of the blue. Who the heck are you? I am the Shadows of Vagni. I've been trapped in my story, driven in endless circles of pain for the past hundred years. That was until you disclosed my whole story, which broke the spell, and I was set free. Trapped? What do you mean, trapped? How did you end up in the book to begin with? I used to have a physical form. Until I was punished for my misdeeds one day, and my body was taken from me, and my shadows were sealed away into this book. I was a very disobedient member of my crew, and never did as I was told, as I had other beliefs. In result, these were my consequences. Well... Even if you had different beliefs, I think you should have seen it coming. That's not important anymore. What's important is now I'm free to do as I please. But first, I will return the favor to the person who set me free and give him a special treat. Are you referring to me? Yes, come here. 
Come receive your reward. A little closer. Don't get too close, Toy Bonnie. This is getting freaky enough. He's just a spirit, Toy Chico. What's he gonna do? Nothing much. Toy Bonnie! Toy Chico, stand back! It could be dangerous! Oh! 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 What have you done? Oh! away with it, then you have another thing coming! If you really want him, you'll have to catch me first. No, wait! You get back here! Oh dear, this is not how I want to spend my afternoon. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Catch that shadow. How does one simply catch a shadow? Hmm. I think the best way to start is to split up into groups. Me and the other toys will check the left side of the building, and Fred and the others, along with Nightmare Bonnie, will check the right side. Are you serious, Toy Freddy? That's how most characters die in horror films. They split up, get lost, and get killed off one by one. Got any other options? And besides, he's, he's, he's a black shadow, so spy him shouldn't be too hard. You were saying? Oh, this is so bad! Let's just get the flashlights and find that ghost! This place is quite creepy during a blackout. You can see that again, but I think we should keep our voices down. The spirit could be lurking in the shadows around us. Sorry, I didn't even know how that thing broke the electric system. It probably has telekinesis powers, but the electricity can't handle its presence. You two try to fix the fuse box. I'll wait out here and continue looking. Okay, fixing this shouldn't take too long. I'll wait with this screwdriver here, put the pry in here. A little bit of insulation here. Um, and then we'll that. Okie dokie, I just need to install the new breaker fuse and we should be back on track. Great, now we can have a better chance of finding this thing. Uh oh, how unfortunate. It appears I have found you two instead. Sorry to say this, but playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say this, but your friends can no longer hear you. In fact, they're not even your friends anymore. I figured if I'd be starting a new life, I won't have to do it alone. Oh no! Not you guys too! You're gonna regret this, you evil shadow! Hmm. Maybe I'll regret it later once I take over your body. Ah! Torchico! What happened? Me and the others were investigating the left hallway and trying to restore the power, but we ended up running into the shadow. You did? What happened to Toy Freddy and BB? I think I had something to do with it. No! What did you do to them? You should be more worried about what I'll do to you. Your friends are mine now, and pretty sure you want them too. We'll just see about that. Are you guys ready? You know we are. <laughs> You can't win, Fazbear. It's useless. You're just a ghost. What are you gonna do? Punch me in the face? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I made a home run. Come on, fight me fair and square. Animatronic to animatronic. <laughs> oh! Please remain in your seat. That's the daylights out of you. <laughs> you old still as I blast your insides out! Yeah, too bad for you, you ugly bug. I got friends for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you little 
brat. Here I come! What's wrong? Am I faster than the good old fox? Don't think I can't keep up just because I'm old. I will show you what I'm made of. Then I guess I'll have to show you what I'm made of. Just too strong. We can't get the upper hand with them. Why don't you upper hand this? Master, ah! looks like we just found ourselves a new friend. A damsel in distress, I see. Well, duh. Uh, Freddy, while they're not looking, maybe we should make a break for the breaker room. I think I can make a run for it. Are you sure, Foxy? You're missing one arm. I can do this, Captain. You have to trust me. Whatever you guys do plan, we have a small window to attempt. If we don't, we're doomed. Okay, go Foxy. Run like it's the 90s all over again. Aye aye, Captain. Arrgh, my leg. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you will make a perfect addition to our cast. I will never join you. <laughs> Chica! Toy Chica! Speak to me! Come on! Toy Babani? Yes, it's me. Come on, stay with me. You're gonna be okay. Guys! You're back! Can someone please explain what the heck is going on? We can chat about what happened later. Can we get my girlfriend some help? Sure, let's find Gold Freddy and- ah! What? What is it, Chica? No! It can't be! Looks like you guys locked me out, but you haven't defeated me yet. Jeez, will you just quit already? You're beaten! What else could you possibly do? Well, why don't you come find out? Oh, now you're just asking for it. <laughs> oh! What was that? <laughs> ah! uh, uh. Guys, Toy Bonnie's hurt! Huh? What just happened? Uh, right when you hit that shadow, it seems like I got struck too. What? I think it should be obvious by now. Your blue friend is still attached to me, so every blow you do against him hurts me too. What happened to the other shadow counterparts? They weren't in your friend's bodies long enough to obtain a fully physical form like me. But thanks to you, that plan has been foiled. So instead of trying to possess you again, I'm gonna kill you all, one by one. Ugh. BB, Toy Freddy, get Toy Chica to safety. I gotcha. Quick guys, follow me! Oh my gosh, we gotta barricade this room! But how? 
Use us load and tables and slice some arcade machines too! Freddy, what on earth are we going to do? I have no clue, Foxy. We can't even defeat that Shadow Bonnie, otherwise we end up killing Toy Bonnie in the process. Then what do we do? I say we leave this town and get as far away from it as possible! And abandon our homes like cowards? I don't think so. There's got to be some way to stop that spirit. But how? Okay, first of all, I think we need to think back on what brought him here in the first place. Which was... the book! Okay, so... you suggest we use the book to defeat him? Basically. I mean, how do we know it's gonna work? It's common sense, Freddy. If opening the book released him, using the book again should seal him back in. We could try that. Quick, guys! He's gonna break through! <laughs> Freddy, go and try to find the story! <sighs> okay! Uh, okay, where's that? No, 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 no. I don't think we can hold him up much longer! Arr! Just hang in there, guys! I have to find the right story! Try to find it faster! Ah! Alright, I found it! Where's the Avatar? And Bon Voyage, demon! Come at me! Oh, you're only asking for trouble by doing that. It's time to send you back to hell. Get out of the way! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Morty! Cut! That book is mine! Oh! Oh! Why did it work? It has to be the person who set up free in the first place! Wait! Toy Body! Heads up! <laughs> Come on, Body! I wasn't ready! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's useless, Toy Body! You're a spineless coward! That's all you'll ever be. Oh yeah? Will a spineless coward do this? <laughs> oh, why did I do that? That's what you get for underestimating me. <laughs> I will never die. No, no, cannot be. No. I did it. <laughs> I mean, we did it. Finally. It's all over. The question is, what are we gonna do with this book? Well, destroying it would release that spirit again, so... I think the best thing to do is to bury the book so that no one will ever think to find it. That's a good idea, Toy Bonnie. It's done. All as it should be. Mm-hmm. Let's go back inside and get ourselves repaired. I agree. What happened? It's okay, Toy Chica. You're in safe hands. Did did we win? Yes. All is well for now. Though I say it was quite scary about what happened to you guys. At least based on what I was told by Freddy. <laughs> Tell me about it. What matters now is that we're all safe and sound. Though something tells me that book that was sent to us was not an accident. <laughs> 